there was an interesting back and forth between uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump that I really actually wondered what you thought about it. She said that it's not hard to imagine Donald Trump getting the U.S. into a war because someone got under his, quote, very thin skin. I asked him about that. He said, hey, she's the one that voted to go to war in Iraq, not me. You've been critical of her for that vote as well. I was wondering where you came down on this. Well, I think, frankly, they both make a point. <laughs> war and peace issues are obviously of enormous consequence. And this is a guy who, oh, you know, he's attacking this one, he's attacking you know, ugly words about people. No, he does not have the temperament. Uh, is it possible that something will get him angry and he may want to get us involved in a war? Yeah, I think that's, that is a possibility. On the other hand, let us also be clear. Uh, Secretary Clinton's temperament is not Donald Trump's, that's for sure. But she and I, back in 2008, I was in the House, she was in the Senate, we all heard the evidence, the so-called evidence coming from Bush and Cheney about the need to go to war in Iraq. I studied that, I really did. Uh, I not only voted against the war in Iraq, I led the opposition to that war. She studied the same information. She supported that war. Do you think she's too quick on the draw, too eager to use military force? I worry about that. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think that the, her support for the war in Iraq was not just an aberration. I think that um, her willingness to kind of push President Obama uh, to overthrow uh, Gaddafi and lead to the kind of instability that we're seeing now in Libya, uh, not inconsistent with her other views on Syria, where she wants a no-fly zone, which I think can suck us into never-ending conflict in that area. Gaddafi's forces were about to, it looked like, commit mass murder uh, against the rebels and, and, uh, and, and citizens, and, and the move by Clinton, Obama, et cetera, and the French and the British was to stop that. Are you arguing that a President Sanders would not have intervened? In that particular instance, probably not. Uh, there are other ways to deal with crises. Look, you can always make the case. You can make the case about Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein was a murdering thug. You can make the case about Assad in Syria. My God, what he has done to his own people. Or about Gaddafi. These are terrible, brutal dictators. But our job is to think what happens the day after these people are removed, the kind of instability that occurs. The argument basically is that the world would be better off with Saddam Hussein and Gaddafi still in power than what happened. The world would be better off with these dictators out of power, but there are ways to get them out of power without causing mass instability and the deaths of what? many, many, many hundreds of thousands of people. What ways? Because obviously it's not that easy. No, it's not that easy, but you bring the entire world together. If your thought is, Jake, or if Secretary Clinton's thought is, and I don't know what it is, that every dictator in the world that's out there, we've got to rush in and overthrow them, we disagree very, very much. Certainly the war in Iraq, Bush's era, Clinton's era, uh, has caused us incalculable harm.